Girl, you can't tell you can't tell me that don't look like my hairline. Like, come on. Like, come on. Look at that neckline. Look at that neck. Can you see it? Listen long, long enough if you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It is another get ready with me slash spend the day with me. We're gonna be doing a spend the day with me and my wig, okay? So me and my wig are gonna go out, we're gonna run some errands. So since we're spending the day with me and my wig, I gotta introduce you to her. So before we get into all of those details, I want to ask y'all real quick, do you like me? And if you do, or even if you don't, girl, leave hate messages, I don't care. I'm trying to get to 100K. Keep hit subscribe and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs, vlogs, all types of stuff. So, girl, you can't tell you can't tell me that I don't look like my hairline. Like, come on. You can't tell me that I don't look like my hairline. You can't tell me that I don't look like my hairline. You couldn't tell me, girl. Like, come on, look at that neckline. Look at that neck. Can you see it? See that? Ow, look at all that hair. This looks like my hair, but baby, it's not. And I want to say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this spend the day with me apparently there's a wig snatcher in atlanta so i need to be careful girl so first let's go ahead and get into this hair get more details on this hair and then i'll see y'all in the car so of course your wig is going to come in the omg her hair box and inside that box of course you receive your wig inside the satin baggie your wig comes in a plastic bag it also comes with a wig grip a wax stick as well as wig caps and a thank you card now, once we get into actually looking at this wig, you can see that this wig is absolutely gorgeous. And this wig is a fitted glueless 360 curly HD lace front wig with realistic curly edges on the front and the back. So that means, babe, you get lace from Ruta to the Tuta. So it's basically giving you the scalp look without actually using your own scalp. Now, we're gonna go ahead and apply this wig. This wig is 20 inches long, 180% density, and it comes with a pre-plucked hairline, front and bike, girl. So look at this hairline, it looks so realistic. Now, the first thing I did was just combed out those little curls, because they just look like it was real, it was too curly for me, and I wanted to frizz them out a little bit, so. We're just going to put the hair in a bun because we need to style this wig. But I wanted to show y'all what it looks like right out of the pack. And when I tell you, the hairline's already done. You just need to lay her down a little bit. Now, one thing about curly edges that I like to do is use a wax stick and not straighten them, not flatten them, but just blend them a little bit. Just like I would blend my natural hair into a wig. So I like to take a hot comb from what hot comb is this it's the red by kids hot comb it's right here on the screen so i don't even know why i'm tripping i like to uh flat iron it or use the hot comb on it on low to just flatten out those edges and blend it a little bit and then we're just going to go ahead and cut off the lace i'm not going to cut off the lace in the back yet because that's a different step so after the lace is cut off, I'm also going to apply this wig. Now I'm using a different gel today. I wish I didn't use this gel. This is the Even Lace Bond Gel. It's all right. It's all right, girl. I should have used the spray. It did pretty well on the sides, but at the top, girl, it didn't stay as well as I needed it to. So I definitely needed to use like wig dealer or the Even Spray or something like that. So I, I mean, I'm probably not going to leave a link for it down below. But I also uh, use the Eben spray, like this spritz spray as well. I do like the spritz spray. It's a little bit runny, but I like that as well. But I'll leave the link for both down below. I'm just not really a fan of that gel too much except for laying down baby hairs. But this is the spritz spray that I was talking about. So I'm just going to lay down the lace as we do. The great thing about um, this lace is that it is really forgiving for... Um, because the hairline it's already has the baby hairs there you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like it's easier to work with now the only challenge that i had was moving the curly hairs out of the way while i laid down the lace but also i don't know if you can see it but the lace i don't know if it was the way i applied it because i've never applied it using that gel before but the lace was a little bit too light but we're gonna fix that a little bit later so i just laid down like my ear tabs just a little bit but as you can see, the lace is blending pretty well, but not as well as I would like. So I'm just gonna brush forward some of these baby hairs just to help me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna brush forward some of these baby hairs. And I want my baby hairs to look like, not the baby hair bangs, you know, I want it to look like natural baby hair. So I use the Eben Lace Bond Gel to really lay down these baby hairs because the hair is curly, so it's gonna curl back up, just like natural hair does, so. 
I want it to just lay it down and make sure it sticks and still let those natural curls pop up. Now, as you can see, one side of the lace was blended. The other side needed the lace tint. I tried this lace tint trick on the other side. I'm going to try it on this one. So what I did was spray a little bit of my calendaric lace tint spray inside of the cap and then I applied it to the lace. I also lifted up the cap because it started to lift because uh, lace tint is wet so it lifts the lace and I just went underneath the cap a little bit just the part that was like exposed and I just dried it on high heat girl about burnt my forehead I dried it and then I used the even lace bronze spray over it and then dabbed off the excess and when I tell you baby she blended she had blended like she was supposed to it looks so good but I also used another little hack I guess you would call it, and I took a little bit of the hair and I brushed it forward over the lace as well. Just to fix my little mistake, I shouldn't have used that gel, girl. I think it would have melted a lot better. But because I use this process, I feel like that hairline looked so much like my natural hairline. It is crazy, like look at it. So I'm just going through with a little bit more lace tint and I'm applying it. Now you can see my wig cap right here, girl. Don't, don't worry about it, we'll fix that a little bit later. I think I put makeup on it, I think, I don't know. But add a little bit of makeup, you won't be able to see it anyways. So as you can see, this hairline looks so amazing. It looks so realistic. Now we need to tackle the back. Now this back part, the only reason why it's difficult is because I can't see. Girl, my man was at home, so he couldn't help me. He couldn't tell me what I was doing. So I figured it out myself. I've done this before. I'm joking around. I've done this before. But one mistake I made was not brushing up my baby hairs at the back. So I used my even lace bond gel once again on the back of the neck it was a little bit better on the back of the neck and i dried it with my blow dryer and then i applied the lace now it did stick but i should have i should have girl my hair was attached to this wig but when i tell you it looked it good <laughs> it had looked it good it looked so realistic um the only thing was that around my ears i think i cut it incorrectly so it didn't really lay like right above my ear, you can't see it, but it didn't lay right above my ear the way I would have liked it to. But for me not seeing nothing, baby, I ate this up. Look at that. That looks like the nape of my neck. Like really, it looks so natural and they did a great job with pre-plucking this area because look at it. Now I just wanted to do that on the other side as well. Make sure I stuck it down. And I think I should have also cleaned my neck with alcohol because I had hair products all back there, girl. Just a dirty neck. <laughs> My neck's not dirty, but you know what I'm saying. It's just hair products and stuff back there. So it didn't stick as well as I needed to, but it stuck well enough. Um, once you see, you can see that once I put my hair up in a bun, it looks so realistic. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. It looks like my hair. It looks like, y'all know, rice water, castor oil, sulfur eight. It looks so realistic. It looks beautiful. And I love the bun look now we're just gonna go ahead and toss on some makeup because i need to give this bun look a look so i'm just gonna throw on my makeup we're probably gonna vibe out with a little bit of music real quick while i toss on this makeup and then we're gonna do our down style so i'm going to be wearing this hair in like a really good fluffy style the one you saw at the beginning so we're gonna do it go ahead and style that but this makeup's gonna be super duper quick and then I'll <laughs> so this is the finished look on the hair and you can see that it looks amazing with the makeup this bun is so messy it's so cute and i think it's perfect for summertime if you want to wear a wig style and then throw it up in a bun this is perfect for summertime now now it's time for us to go ahead and get get the full potential of these beautiful curls. Now these curls are absolutely gorgeous. They look fairly similar to what my natural curls look like, like a gorgeous, gorgeous. If my hair grew, I, in my head I'm picturing it looking like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush out this hair and then we're just gonna go ahead and trim the bottom. Get those um, dry ends off. Now this hair, was shaped well and it's more like really, really long, but I still wanted to make sure I got more bounce to the ounce. 
I wanted to get more balance on this hair. So I decided to trim it just a little bit. I wasn't cutting it, I was trimming it. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of mousse so we can go ahead and define these curls. Now I definitely will wear this hair just brushed out, but I wanna see what these curls do though. So I'm just gonna pull this hair up in a little bun. This style is actually really, really cute. I could have worn it like this and left the house, but I wanted to do, I wanted to see what these curls look like, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and take, look at this girl. You could tell I thought I was cute, but anyways, I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse, as you all know, to define these curls and my Evolve 572 brush. Y'all know I love this brush. It's one of the best brushes ever to define your curls and detangle your hair. I love this brush. Like I said, many, many times I've had it for about five or six years. She ain't even lost a tooth friend. So she's been doing her thing. So I'm just going to add mousse all over the hair and work through in sections. I didn't douse it too much. My main goal was to just clump together the ends so I can get that really, really defined curly look. But I also like a little bit of frizz in my wigs. I like my hair, my wigs to look like hair. I want them to look snatchable. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody to want to snatch it. <laughs> so what I like to do is just clump those curls together. And since this hair is so thick and it's 180% density, I felt like I needed to dry it in sections so it didn't take too long to dry because that's the only thing about curly hair, girl. You need some time to dry it. Or you can just walk outside because girl, it's like 100 degrees outside. So um, I'm gonna work down to the front of the hair. One thing about this wig that I noticed, um, the hair is really thick, but at the top, it has a very natural density. It wasn't really thick in the roots. It didn't really have a height up sort of look. It's really like flat. I don't know how they did that, but as you can see, it looks, I can't describe it. The density feels more natural at the top. It's much denser in the back with a 180% density wig. So um, I'm working through and uh, detangling the hair all the way through to the very, very end until I get those clumps. Now we keep those clumps until the hair is completely dry. And of course I wanted to smooth the top down as well so we had no flyaways, none of that. But the whole goal is to get those really nice juicy curls, especially at the top. Now I'm gonna use my Dyson um, blow dryer to blow dry the hair and make sure it's completely dry. And then I'm going to separate the curls and fluff them out. And I'm gonna separate the ends as well. But I'm trying to be gentle. I'm not trying to comb them through because then it'll frizz back up and then the work that I just did, girl, has been erased, so. But look how defined those curls are. So you can wear this wig one or two ways, fluffy or like defined curls off to the side. I mean, it just looked so realistic, so gorgeous. And although it was a little bit of a challenge to do the back, I felt like, baby, it was worth it because it's so versatile. I'll leave a link for this unit down below. I also will leave the coupon code down in the description box below because y'all know I don't like to leave y'all hanging. So if you are interested, check the description box out. I love you all. Now let's go ahead and get into this vlog because we got to run around the city, girl. Okay, I wanna show y'all my outfit. Is there a way for me to do this? Oh, it doesn't bend. So I wanna show y'all my outfit. The TV is in the way. Girl, I need a better spot. Okay y'all, so this is what I'm wearing out. So I'm wearing this top from Norris from Rack. This. <gasps> yes, okay, so this is the fit. I'm trying to suck in, girl, because I ate some tuna. And I'm out of breath because I just chased a mosquito around this house to kill it. Light is out. The pants are from Amazon. It's kind of like a, um, they look similar to the ones from Aritzia like a one piece, I wore this to the airport. It's very, very comfortable. And I have on this top, just kind of tied up from Nordstrom Rack. My shoes are from Nike. These are the Zooms, what are these? These are the Air. Girl, I don't even know what these are. And what else? I got the jewelry, same stack of jewelry. Lord, not Laura Mercier, Kate Spade, Kate Spade. Nine West. Earrings are from Amazon. And I'm going to pop on a fragrance. Oh, why didn't you tell me the bag on Okay. So, girl, <laughs> I'm just trying to be cute, right? Is this color blocking? Ah! I feel like this is cute. 
cute. It's a little different, but I feel like it's cute. I feel like I feel like a young auntie. You know what I'm saying? For my scents, I've been liking um my Target Finery scents. You can get these from Target. This is the Finery Sunphoria. This one's kind of like it has kind of like an odd smell. It's a little bit strong and old and like baby. It smells kind of like baby powder. But if you mix it with something like sweet, um, Sephora is like, it's a little bit stronger, but I'm gonna use the Jungle Santal Body Mist. Put that on top. It smells like summer. Like the woods. I smell like I was raised in the woods, girl. <laughs> oh, and these lashes are from Amazon as well. They're actually pretty cute. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if I like them, but I like them. Oh, hey, look big. I need my hair to be like this. Oh, it needs to be like this. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see if I can show you the fit from here. If you can like see it. I feel like you can see it. Can you see it? I'm trying to give myself more body. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, a little bloated, but what's new? Okay, now we can leave because I have all my stuff together. Getting the pictures. Do I have my keys? Got my wallet make sure i got everything i really do love this look with this yellow bag i feel like i'm doing something i told y'all i'm trying to stop with the you know hoochie style because summer i get right back in the hoochie but today i think i like it and i'm picking up some new clothes that are like classier today so i'm excited about that too but i think i'm gonna bring should i bring a water a water is any of my hot tools on Y'all, I'm this just this this disjointed when I leave the house. Like I just can't. Gotta unplug everything. Leaving the house is a freaking chore. Try not to forget anything. Do I need a water? Yes, I do need a water. <sighs> okay, so I'll see y'all at Nordstrom in the drive-thru because y'all know I always gonna do the drive-thru pickup. Hey y'all, so we're in the core, we're in the whip. I need to clean off this. I feel like my um, lens is dirty. So y'all already know what we're pulling up. We're pulling up to the Nordstrom line. I have a taste for some like grilled onions. Like I can taste grilled onions. Pull up in this pickup line and see if I can get my tings because they've had them since for like three days. And I think they start to send your stuff back like after five. So I don't know. I'm gonna pull up to this line though. This person's in between spots, so I'll say curbside services here at your service, ma'am. They're supposed to close at eight, so la, la, la. you know they have that anniversary sale going on, and that's what I was buying. I was buying some anniversary sale stuff, so I'm picking up some shoes. Oh, the shoes will actually be cute with this outfit, and um like a cardigan dress okay the girls is body down start curves up pick up silver suv i'm not silver i'm gray babes but i guess three how about i put my car in park store is closed let me run in here girl because they talk about their clothes y'all lying let's see here we go i feel like they lying they ain't close no there's people walking around in there girl don't make me have to walk in here oh my god y'all know i love curbside pickup this is gonna make me mad i am pissed <laughs> my hair is a freaking mess i'm hot girl i'm sweating in my new little shirt like it's a lot but they're supposed to have like, oh girl, I'm kind of not even parked right. It says they close at eight and it's only 7.14. Order pickup on three. Salesperson for details. So, so they used to have order pickup like right 
right there, but I guess I gotta go all the way upstairs now and do my order pickup. You know what I need though? <clears throat> I need to get more like white, loose shirts like this, tan and stuff like that so I can wear it over my tight stuff. Cause I feel like it looks a little bit more classier. So I wonder if they're closed upstairs. They're probably not. I hope not. Let me actually walk. Cause I'm trying to go. Hi, quick question. Do you know where um, pickup is? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Found it. Oh, I think that's what it is. Cool. Service bar. I've never been up here. Girl, I didn't even know all this stuff was up here. I'm always down there with um, House of CB. Yes. Hello. What is that? There's like a restaurant up here. Didn't even know that was a thing. Nordstrom has a restaurant? Like literally I did not know that. I do not need to do any shopping. But they got some really cute. <gasps> I've seen these online. They have some really cute um, sleepwear. I don't need to spend no more money on my car, girl. I ain't got, I think I just spent all the money on my car. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Let's walk from that. Girl, that's $60 for some sleepwear. I can get that from Amazon. Who are you talking to? Let me get out of here. Because I think. Sephora. What oh, extra small? You're finding everything okay? I am. Thank you so much. You're Long sleeve with shorts. I feel like this kind of like a vibe, and I kind of want it. This is extra, extra small. What do you think? This is like a sleepwear thing. Don't let me overcharge my car, child. <laughs> I'm a joke. Okay. Oh girl, it's $44 on the anniversary sale. Let me put this back. Girl, let me get up out of here. Because what they not going to do is get me in trouble, okay? Going down these stairs and get up out of here. Not me that it's from Farm Rio, $210. Baby, is this on sale? That is gorgeous. Let me get out of here before I spend my check, his check, their check, okay? Gotta go, gotta blast. Let me run for my life. <laughs> hey, so we made it. Now I need to check and see if Sephora is open um, because I was so happy they were open up there, but this mall be weird. So Sephora hours, <sighs> Sephora hours. They're open till eight. I'm about to bust their door open. I know that's right. <laughs> Come on. Oh, babe, I couldn't hear her. I did not see her coming through. Oh, I need some skincare stuff. Where was I gonna go for like my skincare stuff? Um, because I'm looking for um, a facial wash with zinc pipe, pytheron. I'm looking for that so I can like wash my face and like take care of this dermatitis because apparently zinc is supposed to help so 
yeah i'm trying to find like a facial wash or something with it because apparently um i don't know i'm trying to find something but i also need to get some Laneige. can y'all hear me i need to get some Laneige, and i also need to get some i have a couple other things on my list like micellar water like something to remove my makeup some brazilian bum on green cream perfume all that stuff so and there's supposed to be one other thing i'm supposed to get well, I said I was going to go get a vegan pecan pie, but girl, that's far. Honey, that's far. I don't know. Girl, did I, I told y'all earlier that I was chasing a mosquito around. There was a mosquito in my house that kept biting me. And my, I cannot find, like, a, a mosquito in an apartment, like, one mosquito is just really, really hard to find. So, it was really making me upset. Oh, dang. I mean, I guess I could park right there. But it was really making me upset and it bit me like once or twice i think it was twice i think i was being paranoid about the second bite but it did bite me on my thigh and girl when i looked girl it was in the toilet i went to go you know i drank a lot of water so i went to go use the restroom i looked in the toilet and it was in the toilet just sitting down there waiting and i don't know if it was trying to bite something but i no i got real mad girl i killed it i got him she ain't coming back. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I was so proud. Girl would have just parked right there if I knew you was coming out. You could have let a girl know. So yeah. Cool. Now we can go into Sephora. I don't know if I can film in Sephora. I wonder what they're gonna say. Cause sometimes it'd be weird. I don't know. We'll see i hate i don't know what it is but i hate being told what to do so when people tell me you can't film you can't film i really get irritated i get pissed because i'm like who, who are you who are you to say i really need to clean my car when i tell you this car is dirty babe it is dirty not the inside but the outside it's disgusting like it's dust all over it so okay i should pull up there oh is she getting out Cause I love a front spot. Girl, get out. I would definitely. If she get out, it's 735. I need to probably walk in there. But if she get out, I would definitely pull, pull into her spot. Like that's stupid. <laughs> like literally it's that spot. It's that spot right there. Girl. Let me get out of here, girl. I'm being ridiculous. Let me go. To Sephora okay so we got the goods I got $118 worth of stuff which I don't even know how I got one thing like one skincare thing with niacinamide I didn't look up how this is but I'm gonna see I'm trying to find something with zinc to help my skin I think I need to start by Target and then I'll be done. I was looking for one contouring product too, but I couldn't really find that either. I think Ulta is closed. Everything closes so early these days. I don't know, but I made a mistake and paid on the wrong card, girl. Mm -mm. Let me go to Target real quick. Target is right across the street. So I'm gonna go to Target and see what they got going over there. We'll be done. I need to use a wet wipe wet wipe sort of girl i don't know if i'm like hand sanitizer i like it but wet wipes are supreme to me because you really can like wipe off your hands and i got makeup all up on my hands but i need to google and see if the ordinary is like good for my skin because i really want to get rid of this dermatitis like it's getting better because i have been using my um i've been using my stuff but the mall closes at eight like ill. What happened to the mall closing at nine? Like, I think that is so weird. Let me look up the ordinary. Okay, let's run on over to Target, girl. Let's skip, hop, and jump. My battery's about to die, so I guess I will see y'all over there at the Target. Ooh, let me see what's on the YouTube. I'm listening to something. Oh, wow, this line is long. Girl, what is going on? I feel like going to dinner today. I wonder if my husband feels like it. <laughs> I just feel like because I'm ready, I want to go to dinner. Like, I want to do something. Um, he saw this man one time in 2018. You would already know that he was talking to this man. I don't know what it is about Target, but 
I don't like going in here because I know I'm gonna spend my whole day in here and I don't feel like it today. I just need two things. I don't even need to grab a cart. Oh, we're on the floor. Ew. I wonder, does this light even look right here? It probably doesn't. Anyways, I'm back home and I wanted to show y'all what I got from, I went to Nordstrom, I went to Target, I went to Sephora. I've been home for a minute, but I think I'm about to take this back. I got the, the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc um, Serum. Got that from um, Sephora. Oh, this is my Sephora stuff. I spent like a hundred and something dollars, but this is going back. I think it was only six dollars, but I saw that niacinamide can be like bad for your skin or something. I don't know. So I'm going to take that back. I got the lip sleeping mask from Laneige. Now this thing right here. Yes, ma'am. Laneige. I have the one in purple, but I definitely needed one for my room so I can like moisturize my lips. It's like I have one in my bathroom for bedtime but I need one in here for like, you know, moisturizing my lips. I also got two of the Laneige Glowy Lip Balms in the color Berry. I love the pink color. I could have got another color, but I just didn't feel like it. So I got two of these. I mean, the, it's so moisturizing, it's so good. I was watching Ali's face and when she recommended it, I was like, okay, let me try it. And the thing about me is that I'm allergic to like a lot of lip balms, but this one, I'm not allergic to it. It doesn't break me out. Sometimes I get a little irritation, it's weird, but it doesn't break me out like that. I also got um, the Sol de Janeiro, Janeiro, how do you say this? I got the um, pistachio and salted caramel spray. I think this is the right one. Um, love this, got that. I love spraying that at night or even during the day, but that's like my nighttime scent after I take a shower. And I also got, I've never tried NARS uh, concealer. So I was like, you know what, let me try it. So I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color, um, what color is this? Walnut Medium Dark. I tried it on like it looks like NC45. I think that's the comparable color. Maybe it's a little bit light, but yeah, it looks about right. Like my concealer color, but I guess we'll see. I don't know, but I got it in the tiny one just in case and also for travel. I love the packaging though, this is nice. And I think that's everything I got from Sephora. Yeah, I just got a whole bunch of like little things. Like only a hundred bucks. I thought it was gonna be more than that. Oh, you wipe my hand off. Okay, so for Nordstrom, I'm excited. I got a pair of shoes. They have a sale. I think these shoes are only thirty or thirty dollars. I have no idea why I got these, but when I saw them, I was like, oh, these are kind of cute. But then they kind of homely, <laughs> so I may take them back. But I kind of like the style of them. I don't know why I like this style. But they look like a shoe that my mom used to have like back in the day. Like, it's it's the open edit, what type of shoe is this? What is this called? But I feel like this is good for like a lunch or brunch. But it also is looking like a little homely. Let me put it on my foot. My toes are ugly right now. They're kind of different, right? I don't know why I like them, but I do. They're different. I feel like they'll be good with this type of pant, you know? You can't even see. What lights do I have? Oh, I should turn on this one. It's a little bit weird, but whatever. So for the top, I have one more anniversary. Like, okay, so this is cute. I feel like this is cute. What brand is this? Open Edit. I love Open Edit, apparently. This is, okay, I'm gonna have to pick y'all up. But this is like a long cardigan sweater. I think I got it on sale for like a really good price. Cause it was originally 50, well anniversary was 59.99. Is that what I paid for it? It couldn't be, but I think this is so cute. I want to try it on because it has like these sleeves. I feel like the sleeves did something funky. Do they? No, it's the collar, but I'm gonna try it on real quick. I'm a little bloated, but what's new? I don't know why I gotta tell y'all I'm bloated every single time, but I actually do like these shoes. Like I do like these shoes. And they're super comfortable. Like this part, comfortable on the foot. I don't know how long I'm gonna like these shoes for, but I feel like for summertime, 
I feel like I can give a look. You know what I'm saying? So let me take this off. And I'm gonna try on this dress. It's a sweater, but I wanna, I don't wanna button it all the way down. So I may have to just pull it over my head or over my, I'll pull it over my booty and see what it's like. Let me put y'all up here. But I hate pulling stuff over my head because of makeup. So I pull things over the bottom. And thank God this bodysuit is so tight. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I hate that the buttons pull. I guess you can wear something under it, but this is cute. But I wonder if I can get these buttons in between like stretched, like uh, sewn together. But y'all see the material? It's so cute. Look how it looks in the back. But you can wear it as a cardigan or you can wear it as like a dress. But the buttons kind of pull apart right here. So if I wanted to wear it as a dress, I'd have to stitch it or pin it or something. What I get from um, Target, not much. So I told you I was looking for something like a facial wash with zinc in it. Let me take this off so I can sit on the floor. Last thing. Oh, I only got, I got some Derma Control Cetaphil wash. So it says zinc, zinc in it. So I'm going to try this out, see what this is like. But that's it, girl. That's it. It's time to eat dinner. We're having a cocktail. We're gonna relax, go to some lace. I did a bad job of laying it down at the top because it started lifting a little bit. See, look at that. You got a little space bar right there. I didn't mean to do that, but you can't really tell because the lace is so good. Anyways, the hair is so pretty. I love wearing this out. Like, got a couple compliments on the hair. Last thing before I get up out of here. The lashes, I actually do like them. I was a little bit nervous because of how they sent them. They sent them just like this like with two pieces of tape. Like I need y'all to put it in like an actual clothes packaging, but I do, I do like the lashes and they're really, really light. I don't really prefer the curl, but I'm falling in love with it just a little bit. And they're not shiny. I don't like shiny lashes. Like I like for my lashes to be dull so they don't look like, uh, like a Barbie doll. I'm not trying to look like, Barbie movie is cute, but I'm not trying to look like her. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. We need to get up out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed this spend the day with me. We did a whole bunch of nothing, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to eat dinner now. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.